Hi everyone, this is uh, Levitin G. Okay, so today we're going to look at um, the engineering and medical side of the questions uh, they ask in Ab uh, and, uh, Abraka. Okay, that's uh, Delso. Okay, we're going to look at how they ask the questions, the way the questions have been asked. Okay, we we'll provide solution to some. Then we're also going to touch some questions that they are actually repeating on yearly basis. There are some questions they like to ask on yearly basis. So we're going to touch those questions, then answer them, show you how you used to answer it, okay, so that um, it will be easier for you when you enter the exam hall. It will not be a new thing again to you. So you can easily answer your questions and get your mark. Okay? Then in terms of your admission, you need to subscribe to us so that we will update you and tell you some things that you need to know. Then for other tertiary institutions, like um, some of you that will still go to some places like um, Uniben, UI, AOAU, and so on and so forth, we're going to, st we're going to still touch those um, those places like in UNN, Uni Lorraine, and so on and so forth. We're going to touch them, uh, both on their pursuing in different fields, and actually tell you how they uh, they set their questions. Okay, where they are getting their questions from. Do you understand how their questions look like? Okay, this will give you an edge inside the hall. You know what to do. Okay, this is the reason why we are doing it. Okay, for today, we're going to look at the uh, engineering side of the questions and medical side of the questions in uh, Delso. And so that you see what to expect. Okay, uh -huh. so that when you enter the hall, it will be easier for you to answer. Then, for the sake of admission, after reading the post, you mean, so you do need to subscribe to us. If you are not subscribed, you need to subscribe so that you can get um, information on how admission is uh, is done or in terms of uh, Delsu, okay? So you can easily get an update and know what to do and know how to follow up, especially when your cut-off mark is not to what they want, but you actually tried, so you know what to do, okay? So you need to subscribe so that you get update on what to do. Then for the post UME, you need to study hard. It's not a fire again, it's close, okay? So you need to work hard on it. Then follow our videos, practice what you have written so far, go to your current affairs and so on and so forth, answer the questions. Then if you actually need the, the software, the soft copy of the past questions, okay? I will, you actually um, add me up on your WhatsApp, okay then uh, send me hi and tell me that you need the past questions so that i can send the past questions to you my number will be displayed on the screen okay so you use it, you you add me up then send me hi tell me that you need um, delta um, state university past questions then other universities if you need their past questions you can also what and also dm me on my whatsapp then i can give you the past question or you can actually talk to me using the youtube uh, link okay then you get what you want then sit down sit back and um, watch the video okay on the engineering and the and the medical for medical and engineering students then for all other students too okay it's applicable because the questions are similar the only thing there difference there that engineering questions are somehow their mathematics is a bit tougher than uh, that of uh, other social sciences and art sciences, art courses. Okay, so please sit back and watch the video and uh, learn on how to do some uh, solve some questions that has to do with engineering and medical questions. Okay, okay. Um, the question that we have to practice is for pharmacy medical students. Okay, it said arm is to increase as religion is to dash, religion only converts. Why army? recruits okay so religion convert and army does what recruits so that is it so he said a cube has number two how many line of symmetry a cube doesn't have line of symmetry how plane of symmetry so the line of symmetry of a cube is zero let's go to number three if six times two is equal to twelve five times three equals to forty two seven times three is equal to what okay so we're going to solve it i'm going to show you how to solve that particular question okay so just bear in the question in mind as you go to solve the question now okay let's look at the, the solution to that particular question six times two equals to 22 the last number there is two <clears throat> so you need to raise it to power 2 that's the solution raise it to power 2 so it becomes 6 times 2 is to power 2 
then you subtract it from that same last number which is 2 minus 2 so it becomes 6 times 4 which is 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 minus 2 which will give us 24 minus 2 which will give us 22 exactly what is there next one is 5 times 3 is equal to 42 remember and the second number there is 3 okay we raise it to the power 2 and subtract it from that same second number so it becomes 5 times 3 raised to the power 2 minus that same 3 so we call 5 times 9 which is 45 minus 3 which will give us what 42 then going to the question we say we say 7 times 3 is equal to what so 7 times 3 is the power 2 minus 3 that's the second number 3 then becomes 7 times 9 minus 3 3 is the power 2 is 9 minus 3 so we are having 63 7 times 9 63 63 minus 3 which will give us what 60 okay i believe you understand what i said here i said second number is to power 2 okay then you multiply it with the first number then you still subtract it from the first number and get what your answer to be 60. now the next question says number 4 says if 4 plus 2 is equal to 12 and 5 plus 2 is equal to 20, find 7 plus 2. So how are we going to solve this particular question? So I'm going to show you how to solve that particular question. Okay. So the question is something of brain work. Okay. 4 plus 2 equals to 12, 5 plus 2 equals to 20, then 7 plus 2 is equal to what? So let's look at how we're going to solve it. Okay, so we are talking about number 4. Number 4 says 4 plus 2 is equal to 12. That means, we are going to solve it this way. 4 minus 2 is the last number. 4 minus 2 in a bracket times the first 4, which is the first number there, plus that same first number, okay, which will give you 4 minus 2 is 2 times by 4, then plus 4, which is 8 plus 4, will give you equals to 12. The next line says four, 5 plus 2 is equal to 20. How do we get that one? 5 plus 2 equals to 20. Remember the last second number is 2. You subtract it from the second number. Then you multiply it by the first number. Add it also by the first number. So it becomes 5 minus 2, 3 times by 5 plus 5, which will give us all together 15 plus 5, which is 20. Then the question says 7 plus 2 is equal to what? 7 minus 2 times 7 plus 7, which is the first number, become 5 times 7, 35 plus 7. That will sum up to what? 42. I believe you understand what I said. The first number minus the second number, multiply by the first number, and you add the first number again to it. That's how. So when I said here that a plus b is equal to 3 b plus c equals to 5 let's take our a to be 1 1 plus 2 b to be 2 equals to what 3 then let's take our c to be 3 so now have b is 2 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 then a b c will now become a which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 okay which will give us uh, 6 that's the answer yeah let's look at number six it says if 4b5 is equal to 45 and 6 3b6 equals to 54 should find 8b2 will not be equal to what i believe you understand what i said say 4b5 equals to 45 6b6 the 3b6 is equal to 54 should find 8b2 what is 8b2 so 8b2 equals to what? Let's solve it now. Now, 4b5 equals to 45, 6, 3b6 equals to 54, and 8b2 equals to what? 4b5 is seen as 4 plus 5. The first add to the what? To the second, which is 4 plus 5. Then you multiply by the last number. Okay? And as it becomes 4 plus 5, it gives us 9. Then 9 times 5 will give us 45, which tallies with what they want. Okay? Now, <clears throat> going to the second one, we have 3B6, 3B, 
6 equals to 54. The same thing, 3 times 6, 3 plus 6 times 6 will give us 54. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 times 6 will give us 54. So that is how we're going to solve that particular one. Okay. Then the last one there is 8B2. Using the same method, 8B2. If you are using the same method on it, it becomes 8. I can see. Um, it becomes 8. Okay. Plus 2 times. What was the last number there again? Is 2. So 8 plus 2 will give us 10. Then 10 times 2 again will give us. 20 so the answer there is 20 i believe you understand it okay that is the answer there 20 so whenever you are doing this kind of question first of all you look at it critically then you think very fast okay then you answer your questions accordingly okay? so remember what i told you i said 4b5 equals to 45 first of all you add the two numbers then you multiply it by the last number, which is 9 times 5 equals to what? 45. 3B6, the same thing. You add the two numbers, then multiply by the last number, which will give us 54. Then 8B2, the same thing. You multiply, you add the two numbers, okay? Then you multiply uh, it by the last number, which will give us what? 20. That is exactly how to solve that kind of uh, question i believe you understand it okay that's how to solve the question now the last question says calculate the acute angle between the minute and hour hand of a clock at 9 30 a.m okay 9 30 a.m that will look like more of if you if you draw it it will look more of uh, more like a uh, angle night that right angle triangle so they actually the angle that actually is covered within that is 90 degree so we're going to see how to draw it so this is the diagram for that okay if you look at it very well the whole clock is 360 so that part is 90 the other part 90 90 that 360 so the part we are looking at 90